Maybe you never get to see the face with joy in it because you always see it in crisis, but what you do helps that to happen, especially if you give families support and education and the resources that you do. That follow-up is incredible. When I speak to psychiatrists, I often follow people with a lot of letters after their name. PhD, MSW, MD, and I just get up and say, I'm Randy K. M. R. G. And that stands for Mother Who Refused to Give Up. Thank you. Those are my credentials, and oh boy, oh boy, did I earn them. Based on what you do every day, on what psychiatrists do every day, on what psychiatric nurses do every day because they don't get to see what happens before their contact with the patient and what happens afterward. Let me introduce you to my son, Ben. Now, anyone who has parented teenagers know, as one psychiatrist said to me, they're all a little bit mentally ill. He wrote a to-do list in the hospital, which I'm not going to read to you, but it basically said, start my own country in Africa, <laughs> get anger management from my mother, um, write a book to cause world peace. He still would like to do that. But in his second hospitalization, he wrote a poem that says, slowly walking without a pace, wandering, wandering, place to place, Search for niche and searching space just to find that inner grace I lost before when I began to race. When my son's brain began to race out of control, that was the time we needed to step in and help him. We were lucky to find out eventually after many false starts what the diagnosis was. We were lucky after eight hospitalizations to find treatment and structure and purpose and love that works. And we're lucky to still have him here. And we hope that our story and our story will help to save the many lives that you're trying to save. Thank you.